New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law, Section 1180, Speed Restrictions, Points, Fines, Surcharges, Jail. Thank you for visiting the web video of David Gallison, PC. This video will explain the various sections of the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law under Article 30, Speed Restrictions. After the video is concluded, if you have any questions, please feel free to call the Law Office of David Gallison, PC, for a free consultation. The phone number is 516-242-4477. The text of this video can also be found on my web blog. Just Google David Gallison, PC, web blog. Article 30 of the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law Section 1180 is titled Speed Restrictions and it outlines the various speeding offenses that can be committed. There are seven subsections to Section 1180 of the Vehicle and Traffic Law. 1180A, 1180B, 1180C, 1180D, 1180E, 1180F, and 1180G. If you are stopped by a police officer in Nassau, Suffolk, Queens, or any other county throughout the state of New York and receive a speeding ticket, it will be charged under one of the sections just mentioned. Each of the speeding subsections, A through G, will be explained in detail, as will sections 1181, Driving Too Slowly, and section 1182, Speed Contest. The explanations will include points, fines, surcharges, and possible jail sentences. Now, before we go into the specifics of each subsection to Section 1180 of the Vehicle and Traffic Law, there are some general rules that every motorist should know. The three speeds rule provides that if a motorist is convicted of any three traffic citations under Section 1180 within an 18-month period of time, the court must revoke your license. Pursuant to Section 510.2, Subdivision 4, of the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law. Section 510.2.4 is titled Suspension, Revocation, and Reissuance of Licenses and Registrations. Under this provision, the revocation of your driver's license is mandatory. Therefore, if a motorist were to receive and be convicted of three traffic tickets within any 18-month period of time under any section of 1180, his or her license must be revoked. Even if the judge or hearing examiner did not want to impose a revocation based upon a third conviction, they would have absolutely no choice. To sum it up, the first rule is three speeding ticket convictions within any 18-month period of time equals mandatory revocation of your driver's license. Another rule that every motorist who operates a vehicle in New York should know is that all moving violations will result in points on your license if you are convicted for the violation alleged. Excessive points can result in the suspension or revocation of your New York State driver's license and or your New York State driving privileges and also Driver Responsibility Act liability. The suspension under the excessive points rule is for motorists who are considered persistent violators. The New York State Department of Motor Vehicles will generally issue a suspension when a motorist receives more than 10 points on his or her driving record within any 18-month period of time. A motorist who is notified about an upcoming suspension that is permissive has the right to request a hearing so that they may be heard under the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law, that is under Section 510.3a. The points associated with speeding tickets are generally based on the speed or miles per hour over the posted speed limit that a vehicle is traveling. For a vehicle traveling 1 through 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, the New York State Department of Motor Vehicles assesses three moving point violations. 11 through 20 miles per hour equals 4 points, 21 through 30 miles an hour is 6 points, 31 through 40 miles an hour is 8 points, and 41 miles per hour and up is 11 points. The Driver Responsibility Assessment Act is a program that applies to all drivers who operate or who operated a motor vehicle in the state of New York. 
Essentially, the act punishes a motorist who has too many points on his or her license by assessing a yearly fine for the excessive points. This yearly fine lasts for three years and is in addition to any fines, fees, penalties, or surcharges that are paid for the ticket itself. The assessment is triggered when a motorist receives six or more points on his or her license within any 18-month period of time. The initial fine on the first six points is $100 per year for three years and an additional $25 for each point over six for that same time period. Failure to pay the fine or assessment will result in the suspension of your New York State driving privilege. And if you are stopped driving while your privilege is suspended, it is a misdemeanor for which you could be put in jail. Section 1180A of the Vehicle and Traffic Law. No person shall drive a vehicle at a speed greater than is reasonable and prudent under the conditions and having regard to the actual and potential hazards then existing. This subsection deals with situations where a motorist can be given a ticket even though he or she is not driving above the posted speed limit. How can a police officer issue a summons for speeding when the driver is not exceeding the limit, you ask? Well, did you ever drive down the road in a snowstorm and witness an SUV passing you at 40 miles per hour despite the fact that you could barely see past your windshield and your own speed was only 15 miles per hour. Under those circumstances, an officer would be totally justified in issuing a speeding summons for operating a vehicle at a speed that is greater than reasonable and prudent under the conditions at the time. Essentially, if the road conditions are such that it would be dangerous to drive at the posted speed limit, you need to slow down. Fines. The fine for a violation of Section 1180A for a first offense ranges from $45 to $150. The fine for a second violation of this section within any 18-month period of time ranges from $45 to $300. And the fine for a third violation of this section within an 18-month period of time ranges from $45 to $525. In addition to any fines, there are state surcharges. In addition, uh, the state surcharge in connection with an 1180A is between $80 and $85, depending upon the court venue which is hearing the case. With respect to points, a conviction for a violation of Section 1180A, unreasonable speed, will result in three points being added to your New York State driving record. Jail. Although it is very unusual for a motorist to be sentenced to jail for a minor traffic violation, it is permissible. For a first conviction under Section 1180A, the maximum jail sentence is 15 days incarceration. A second and third conviction are each punished by up to 30 days incarceration. 1180B, speeding in excess of 55 miles per hour. This subsection deals with speeding in excess of the statewide speed limit of 55 miles per hour. Unless a roadway has an established posted speed limit in excess of 55 miles per hour, like certain portions of the New York State Thruway, a motorist may not exceed 55 miles per hour. This section of 1180 is taken so seriously by the New York State Department of Motor Vehicles that it is referenced under Section 510A4. What is Section 510A4, you ask? Well, if you have a commercial driver's license, or a CDL, as it is commonly known, then Section 510A4 is something you should know about. This section of the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law lists the infractions that are considered a serious traffic violation. Why is it important to know what a serious traffic violation is? The answer is because if you are convicted of two serious traffic violations within any three-year period of time, your CDL license will be suspended for a period of 60 days. And if you catch a third serious traffic violation within that same time period, you can double the suspension to 120 days. Fines. The fine for a violation of this section depends on how many miles over the posted speed limit you were convicted of traveling and if you have been previously convicted of the same offense previously. 
If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $45 to $150. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $300. And if your speed is more than 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $600. If this is a second offense under Section 1180B, then the fine goes up. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $45 to $300. If your speed is between 11 miles per hour and 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $450. And if your speed is more than 30 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $750. If this is a third offense under Section 1180B, then the fine goes up yet again. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $45 to $525. If your speed is between 11 and 30 over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $675. And if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $975. The surcharges. In addition to the above fines, the state imposes surcharges upon a conviction to the above. The surcharges range from $80 to $85 depending upon the court venue that you are in. Points. Exceeding the speed limit by 1 to 10 miles per hour will result in 3 points being added to your license. 11 to 20 miles per hour over the speed limit will result in 4 points being added to your license. 21 to 30 miles an hour over the speed limit will result in 6 points being added to your license. And 31 to 40 miles an hour over the speed limit will result in 8 points being added to your license. If you're driving over 40, 41 miles per hour plus, it is 11 points being added to your license. Jail. Although it is very unusual for a motorist to be sentenced to jail for a minor traffic violation, it is permissible. Under Section 1180B, the maximum jail sentence is determined by the speed of the vehicle and prior convictions. If your speed is 1 through 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, you're safe. There is no jail imposed. However, if your speed is 11 through 30 miles per hour over the speed limit for a first conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 15 days incarceration, and for a second conviction, the maximum jail sentence is up to 30 days incarceration. For a third conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 30 days incarceration as well. Speed over 30 miles per hour. Over 30 miles per hour, a first conviction is punishable by a sentence of 30 days incarceration, as is a second and third conviction, each punishable by up to 30 days incarceration. Surcharges are, again, between $80 and $85, depending upon the court venue that the ticket is issued in. Section 1180C, Speeding Ticket in a School Zone. This section of 1180 is somewhat self-explanatory, but there is a catch. What's the catch, you ask? The catch is that depending upon the day and time of the traffic infraction, the fines double. So if you are issued a speeding ticket in a school zone on a date in which school is in session, between the hours of 7 a.m. and 6 p.m., your fines will be doubled. However, the good thing is that your points are not doubled. If you possess a commercial driver's license, a conviction to this section of 1180 is considered a serious traffic violation. For an explanation of what a serious traffic violation is, please re-listen to section 1180B for a further explanation. Fines. The fine for a violation of this section depends upon how many miles over the posted speed limit you were convicted of traveling and whether or not it is a school day during school hours, and if you have been previously convicted of the same offense. If the ticket was issued after school hours or on a date when school is not in session, then the fine schedule enumerated now is what applies. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $45 to $150. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $300, and if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine range is $180 to $600.
If this is a second offense under Section 1180B, then the fine goes up. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $45 to $300. If your speed is between 11 and 30, the fine ranges from $90 to $450. And if you're traveling more than 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $750. If this is your third offense under Section 1180B, then the fine goes up yet again. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $45 to $525. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $675. And if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $975. If the ticket was issued during school hours on a date when school is in session, then the fine schedule numerated now is what will apply. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $300. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $600. And if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $360 to $1,200. If this is a second offense under Section 1180B, then the fine goes up. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, then the fine ranges from $60 to $450. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $120 to $750. And if this speed is 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $240 to $1,350. If this is a third offense under Section 1180B, then the fine goes up yet again, and you really need to slow down. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $60 to $675. If your speed is between 11 and 30 over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $120 to $975. And if your speed is more than 30 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $240 to $1,575. Jail. Although it is very unusual for a motorist to be sentenced to jail for a traffic violation, it is permissible. Under this section of Section 1180, the maximum jail sentence is determined by the speed of the vehicle and prior convictions. If your speed is 1 through 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, jail is not an option. For speeds 11 through 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, for a first conviction the maximum jail sentence is 15 days incarceration. For a second conviction the maximum jail sentence is 30 days incarceration and for a third conviction the maximum jail sentence is 30 days incarceration. For speeding 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, a first conviction, second, and third conviction are each punishable by up to 30 days incarceration. The surcharges are between $80 and $85 depending upon the venue in which you are charged. Section 1180D, speed in excess of the maximum speed limits or exceeding the posted speed limit. This section of 1180 deals with driving above the posted speed limit. This is your general running around town speeding ticket. The kind of ticket where you're going to your local store on a public roadway and you see a sign that says speed limit 40 miles per hour and you disregard it and drive 52 miles per hour so that you can keep up with traffic. If you possess a commercial driver's license, a conviction to this section of 1180 is considered a serious traffic violation. For an explanation of what a serious traffic violation is, please re-listen to section 1180B earlier in the video. The fines for this violation. The fine for a violation of this section depends upon how many miles over the speed limit you were convicted of traveling and if you have been previously convicted of the same offense. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit, the fine ranges from $45 to $150. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $300, and if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $600. If this is a second offense under Section 1180, 
then the fine goes up. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $300. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $450. And if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $750. If this is your third offense under Section 1180B, you need to slow down. The fines go up yet again. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $45 to $525. If your speed is between 11 and 30 over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $675. And if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $975. Jail. Although it is very unusual for a motorist to be sentenced to jail for a minor traffic violation, it is permissible. Under this section of 1180, the maximum jail sentence is determined by the speed of the vehicle and prior convictions. If your speed is 1 through 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, jail is not an option for the judge to impose. However, if your speed is between 11 and 30 miles per hour over the speed limit on a first conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 15 days incarceration. For a second conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 30 days incarceration. And for a third conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 30 days incarceration. If your speed is over 30 miles is over the speed limit for a first conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 30 days. It's also 30 days for a second and third conviction. The surcharges for a violation of this section are between 80 and 85, depending upon the court in which you are charged. Section 1180E, failure to reduce speed. This section of 1180 of the New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law is similar to Section 1180A, but it is still different. Section 1180A deals with driving too fast because of some inherent condition of the weather or road condition. Under Section 1180E, a driver is to reduce his or her speed when approaching and crossing an intersection or railway grade crossing, or when approaching and going around a curve in the road, when approaching a hill crest, when approaching and passing uh, an emergency situation involving any authorized emergency vehicle which is parked with emergency lights on, or when driving down a narrow or winding roadway, or whenever any special hazard exists with respect to pedestrians, etc. Fines. The fines for a violation of this section for a first offense range from $45 to $150. The fine for a second violation of this section within an 18-month period of time ranges from $45 to $300, and for a third violation within an 18-month period of time, the fine ranges $45 to $525. In addition to any fines, the surcharges range from $80 to $85, depending upon the venue in which you are charged. Points. A conviction for a violation of Section 1180E, Failure to Reduce Speed, will result in three points being added to your New York State driving record. Jail. Although it is unusual for a motorist to be sentenced to jail for a minor traffic violation, it is permissible. For a first conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 15 days incarceration. For a second and third conviction, the sentence is up to 30 days incarceration. 1180F. Exceeding posted work area speed limit highway construction or maintenance work area. This section of 1180 deals with speeding in work slash construction zones. Most motorists will take notice of the temporary speed limit signs posted as they enter a construction zone. You know the signs, the ones that say speeding in construction zone fines doubled. Well, the signs are no bluff. Your fines really do double if you are convicted of this type of speeding ticket. If you possess a commercial driver's license, conviction to this section of 1180 is considered a serious traffic violation. For an explanation of what a serious traffic violation is, please re-listen to the information under section 1180B above. Fines. The fine for a violation of this section depends upon how many miles over the posted speed limit you were convicted of traveling and if you have been previously convicted of the same offense. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles an hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $150. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $300. And if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, 
The fine ranges from $360 to $600. If this is a second offense under Section 1180F, the fine goes higher. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $300. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $450. And if your speed is more than 30 miles over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $360 to $750. If this is a third offense under Section 1180, then the fine goes up yet again. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $525. If your speed is between 11 and 30 over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $675. And if your speed is more than 30 over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $360 to $975. Jail. Although it is very unusual for a motorist to be sentenced to jail for a traffic violation, it is permissible. Under this section of 1180, the maximum jail sentence is determined by the speed of the vehicle and the prior convictions. The speed is 1 through 10 miles an hour for a first, second, or third conviction. Incarceration is not an option. Speed 11 through 30 miles over the speed limit for a first conviction can result in 30 days incarceration and a third conviction can also uh, result in 30 days incarceration. Speeds over 30 miles an hour over the speed limit for a first conviction are punishable by up to 30 days incarceration, as is a second and third conviction. Surcharges. In addition to the above fines, the state imposes surcharges upon a conviction that range from $80 to $85, depending upon the court in which the ticket is charged. Section 1180G, speeding in a vehicle that has a gross vehicle weight of more than 18,000 pounds or a commercial vehicle with a gross weight of more than 10,000 pounds with a radar or a laser detector. This section of 1180 is meant to discourage motorists from using law enforcement detection equipment when driving vehicles that are inherently dangerous because of their weight. If you possess a commercial driver's license, a conviction to this section of 1180 is considered a serious traffic violation. For an explanation of what a serious traffic violation is, please re-listen to section 1180B earlier in this video. Fines. The fine for a violation of this section depends upon how many miles over the posted speed limit you are convicted of traveling and if you have been previously convicted of the same offense. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $150. If your speed is between 11 and 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $300, and if your speed is more than 30 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $360 to $600. This is a second offense under Section 1180G. The fine goes higher. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $300. If your speed is between 11 and 30 over the speed limit, the fine ranges $180 to $450. If your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $360 to $750. This is a third offense under Section 1180F, then the fine goes up yet again. If your speed is between 1 and 10 miles per hour over the limit, the fine ranges from $90 to $525. If your speed is 11 to 30 over the speed limit, the fine ranges from $180 to $675. And if your speed is more than 30 miles an hour over the limit, fine ranges from $360 to $975. Jail. Although it is very unusual for a motorist to be sentenced to jail for a minor traffic violation, it is permissible. Under this section of 1180, the maximum jail sentence is determined by the speed of the vehicle and prior convictions. Speeding 1 through 10 miles per hour over the speed limit is not punishable by incarceration for a first, second, or third conviction. However, if your speed is 11 through 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, you can be sentenced to 30 days incarceration for a first, second, or third conviction. And if your speed is over 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, you can be sentenced to 30 days in jail for a first, second, or third conviction. Surcharges are determined by the court in which your matter is pending. And they range between $80 and $85. Section 1181A, impeding the normal and reasonable movement of traffic, driving too slowly. 
This section of 1180 deals with a situation when the operator of a motor vehicle is driving so slowly that it is negatively affecting the use of the roadway. An example of this would be when a motorist is driving 15 miles per hour in a 40 mile per hour zone for no legitimate reason. There's a trail of angry motorists following behind honking and pulling their hair out. Perhaps you've seen this in Florida. The fines. The fine for a violation of this section depends upon how many times the motorist has been convicted of this violation previously. If this is a first conviction, the fine ranges between no fine and $150. If this is a second offense, the fine ranges between no fine and $300. And if this is a third offense, the fine ranges between zero and $450. Jail. Although it is uncommon for motorists to be sentenced to jail for a minor traffic violation, it is permissible under this section of 1180. A first conviction is punishable by up to 15 days incarceration. A second is punishable by up to 45 days incarceration. And if you drive too slowly a third time, believe it or not, up to 90 days incarceration. In addition, there are state surcharges that range between $80 and $85, depending upon the court in which your matter is pending. Section 1181B, Driving Below the Minimum Established Speed Limit. This section of 1180 deals with the situation where a motorist is driving on a public road, highway, or parkway that has minimum speed limit signs posted. For example, the minimum speed limit sign on the Meadowbrook Parkway in Nassau County is 40 miles an hour. If you enter that parkway and drive at 35 miles an hour, then you would be in violation of this section. The fine for a violation of this section depends upon how many times the motorist has been convicted of this violation previously. If this is a first conviction, the fine range is between zero and $150. If this is a second offense, the fine range is between zero and $300. And a third offense is between zero and $450. Although it is very unusual for a motorist to be sentenced to jail under a minor traffic violation, it is a possibility under this section. A first conviction is punished by up to 15 days in jail. A second conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 45 days incarceration. And if this is your third conviction, the maximum jail sentence is 90 days incarceration. So please don't drive too slowly. Section 1182, speed contest and races. This is a criminal offense. It is a misdemeanor and it is punishable by jail. I strongly recommend seeking legal counsel if you are charged with this offense. This section of 1180 prohibits unauthorized races on the public roadways. If you have seen movies like The Fast and the Furious, you know what street racing is. And so do the police. And if you get caught street racing, it's a big problem. There are no points assessed against your license if you are convicted of street racing. Rather, your license is simply revoked. The fine for a violation of this section depends upon how many times the motorist has been convicted of the violation previously. A first conviction is punishable by a three to $525 fine. The second conviction is between $525 and $750. Jail. On a first time conviction for this offense, the court can sentence up to 30 days incarceration. On a second time conviction for this offense, the court can sentence up to six months incarceration. Surcharges range between $80 and $85, depending upon the court that is hearing the case. The information contained in this web video is accurate as of 6-1-2012. Laws change over time, so please use the information as a reference only. As with any legal matter, I strongly suggest that you consult with an attorney to help you with any questions or problems that you may have. I have been practicing law for well over a decade. I primarily handle criminal cases, both felony and misdemeanor, and traffic violations. I appear in Nassau, Suffolk, and Queens counties, but can be found throughout the state. Please feel free to call my office to set up a free consultation. Thank you for listening. Very truly, Dave Gallison.